guys welcome back to my channel so before we get started please make sure to subscribe and leave a like down below and comment suggestions for videos that you would like to see me react to next this is jay analysis jade and tori confusing relationship jade and tori of course is from victorious so without further ado guys we're about to hop into this video so let's go this was supposed to be your night this was your big chance so for me to go out there and, and i can't do that to a friend or even to you. Jade and Tori's confusing relationship. Jade West and Tori Vega have a rather confusing relationship. If they're enemies, then why does Tori support Jade? If they're friends, then why does Jade antagonize Tori? I've read countless interpretations of their relationship in preparation for this video, but three of them stand out among the rest. Jade hates Tori, Jade's jealous of Tori, or the most prominent interpretation of them all, Jade has romantic feelings for Tori. But which is it? Does Jade just jokingly jeer her jovial colleague out of jealousy? Does Tori take her taunting and teasing as a tactful display of tension? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's tension. take a look. Like, tension. <laughs> There's not enough people with originality, so here I am to save the day. Janiac. There's no good reason why you and I shouldn't be able to sit here together and have a conversation. I got a good reason, which is I don't like you. But why? The first interpretation, and by far the most obvious of the three, is that, well, Jade really hates Tori. And reasons for hating her can be seen most clearly in the first episode. When Jade first sees Tori, she's touching her boyfriend Beck. Oh. Jade, being the possessive girl that she is, obviously wouldn't be okay with this. To make matters worse, Tori kisses Beck as part of an acting exercise. Of course Jade's going to hate her. She's worried that Tori will take Beck away from her. Though it's never confirmed, one could assume that Jade probably doesn't think it's fair how Tori got enrolled in the first place. And I mean, if we're not really cool like that anyways, I don't want you near my boyfriend, so... The fuck? Because Jade's father doesn't support her art and talents, she likely had to go through a few fights just to get into the school. But here comes Tori, some preppy girl with no experience, and she gets in after a single performance. Jade's anger towards Tori makes a lot of sense, but it makes you wonder why Tori doesn't hate Jade, and why she's so persistent about them being friends. That is, unless you've watched my Tori Vega analysis. Links in the description below. I have where not. I concluded that Tori is a very tenacious person who likely saw Jade's domineering attitude of building walls around her as a challenge for Tori to overcome. Which is probably why Tori isn't afraid to stand up to Jade, unlike everyone else around them. It also helps that the kindness Tori shows to Jade isn't exclusive to her. Tori is always willing to help the people closest to her in any situation, which definitely helped Tori become one of the most popular students at Hollywood Arts, getting lead roles in plays, songs, and anything you can think of, really. But this is likely the biggest contributing factor to the second interpretation. Did you get the lead? Oh, little Ariana. I don't think she got it. So... Who's she was a little, little. Hey. Yeah. Her. That. She got the lead. Jade's jealous of Tori. The second interpretation is that Jade West is actually jealous of Tori Vega. Now, I know right away many would disagree with this interpretation, either because they'd much rather just pair the two, or because they just can't see the good in Tori. But have you ever noticed what Jade says when she imitates Tori? My name is Tori Vega. Buy me some licorice and I'll give you a kiss. Who, me? Oh, well, I would never hurt my dear sister Trina. Not me, sweet Sally Peaches. Well, maybe you'll meet a handsome young doctor, get married and share a soda pop. Every time Jade imitates Tori, she's making fun of how perfect Tori's life is. If this is how Jade that sees Tori, very... then of course oh, pause, she'd be pause, jealous pause, of her. Pause. Tori lives with both of her that parents sounds... and her sister. I don't know why it's not possible. That does sound extremely like you are very, very jealous of her lifestyle and what she has. Like the first thing you go for is what she has in life. Sis. Trina, 
all of whom get along pretty well, despite a few hiccups here and there. But Jade's home life is far from perfect. Divorced parents, a disapproving father, and a seething hatred for her stepmother. I go into more detail about this in my Jade West analysis, evil. links in the description below. But to summarize, Jade seeing Tori's stable home life could be the reason why she antagonizes Tori so much. She wishes that her home could be as peaceful as Tori's is. She wishes Aww. that her father was as supportive as Tori's is. But most importantly, she wishes that she could be as happy as Tori is. The reason why this interpretation cancels out the previous one, though, is because it lends itself well to the idea that Jade doesn't entirely hate Tori. There's evidence of this in Walkstar and Tori Goes Platinum, where Jade and Tori hug each other. If Jade really hated Tori, that I don't think weird. she'd be hugging her at all. Which brings us to a That's very crazy. important question. Weird why does Jade let Tori touch her? It's a very well-known fact that Jade doesn't like being touched by anyone but her boyfriend, Beck. If you don't take your hands off me in the next two seconds, she won't have hands. So does Jade let Tori touch her as a way of proving her own self-worth? Is it Jade's way of saying she's better than Tori, taunting her because she knows how uncomfortable it makes her? Or is it because of the third interpretation? You, Jade. Never touch me. Oh. Don't be shy. What? <laughs> the third interpretation is that Jade actually has feelings for Tori, and Tori reciprocates. Remember how earlier I said that Tori isn't afraid to stand up to Jade, unlike everyone else around them? Well, that's not entirely true. The only other person that stands up to Jade is Beck, the person she's dating. Perhaps Jade is attracted to that, and her constantly teasing Tori is not only her way of showing affection, but also her testing Tori to see if she'd be willing to tolerate her. But wait, if this interpretation is true, then how do you justify Jade's flat-out evil intentions in Tori Gets Stuck? where she illegally goes through Tori's medical records, gives Tori bush daisies knowing that she's allergic to them, and makes Tori donate two consecutive pints of blood. Yes, I know Tori ends up donating three pints of blood, but the third one is Robbie's fault. Jay didn't plan that. She wasn't even there. How do you justify Jay doing all of this to the person she supposedly has feelings for? Just so she can have the lead role in a play? Well... There That's is confusing. one answer that came to mind, and it goes all the way back to Jade's father. We've I only seen Mr. So West cool. once, and we already know that he doesn't support his daughter's aspiration for the arts. But there's one thing he said in his only appearance that really stood out to me. Anything else? Would you please take that jewelry out of your face? This may be a stretch, but suppose for a second that Jade's father is extremely conservative. Maybe Jade's arts aren't the only thing he doesn't support, and maybe a lot of Jade's frustration comes from being raised in a home where her attractions aren't allowed. Maybe Jade's constant lashing out is her trying to suppress these feelings, only to fully accept them later on in the series. As for how Tori feels, it should be noted that she's always there for Jade whenever Beck isn't around, which is like all the time. But what I think lends more credibility to Tori sharing these feelings for Jade is this post from Kirsty's Tumblr blog, Freak the Freak Out, where they point out that Tori wears a signature necklace all throughout the show. That is, until Tori and Jade's playdate, where Tori is seen wearing it one last time before Jade suddenly starts wearing it in the episodes after. I'll leave a link in the description below what? if you want to check it out. This interpretation would explain a few of Jade's other strange behaviors around Tori. I mean, after all, her favorite movie's called The Scissoring. Whoa, 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 excuse me? What? What? So, which interpretation do you think makes the most sense? Admittedly, I'm a little biased. If you watched my Jade West analysis video, you know who I ship with Jade. Because of that, I never thought much of Tori and Jade's supposed attraction, but after making this video, I can see why so many people do see it that way. 
That being said, John Dre for life! Anyway, I had a lot of fun making this video, and if you enjoyed it, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. While you're at it, don't be afraid to take a look- So, I'm not like really really too familiar with Victorious, like I've seen some episodes, I'm not gonna act like I know the show like that, but in order to understand their relationship, I would need to watch like some episodes because the attraction, it sounds like it's weird, like she's attracted to her in that way but like he said before like she's trying to so suppress it or like trying to cover it up she doesn't want to be like exposed that's what it sounds like but i would i would literally have to watch like an episode or a breakdown of the show or something to totally understand like what's going on but yeah you guys that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next reaction video bye